Good morning, everyone. It's Friday Eve and another wet morning. Look, the rains will really pick up this afternoon, especially if we get any real sunshine in here, and we will get some sun in here, but do anticipate the need of the umbrella. Good morning again. I'm Channel 4 Chief Meteorologist John Gone. Take a walk with me as we look at what happened back on Tuesday. Flooding rains on the north side. Look at the airport total at the airport. We saw nearly three inches of rain. The next hot spot was Arlington Craig, picking about an inch and a third. Naval Air Station Jacks, about three quarters of an inch. Lesser amounts everywhere else. I mean, even some very lighter, non-existent amounts, especially out in Clay County. They just had some scattered showers, even as we were going to bed. Here's Live 5 Doppler radar showing some scattered showers. St. John's County, Putnam County, Flagler County. Bigger rains along the Gulf Coast are probably going to fade just as they come on shore right there along I-75 from Lake City to Fort George all the way out to Gainesville. So that's the uh, stand up or start of your um, forecast as we look at what's happening back out west. The now cast is for cloudy skies here this morning. Some scattered showers, but the storms return this afternoon. They'll be back Friday, probably drying out somewhat Saturday and Sunday. Just some scattered thunder showers both afternoons, although Sunday will have a better chance. And daytime temperatures are back to where we would expect them to be. I mean, it's August. We're in the heat of summer. Daytime highs easily can be the mid-upper 90s this time of the year. We'll be into the low 90s, kicking it off on Saturday. To feel like temperature, though, popping to over 100.